They are, MRT, bus, taxi, private hire car, and airport transfer. MRT The MRT, Mass Rapid Transit, system in Singapore, is probably the quickest way to get around the city. This is also the easiest and cheapest way for any tourist. It is accessible from any terminals in the airport, although it is closer to Terminal 2 and 3. Important thing to note is the timing, as you don't want to arrive there happily to catch the train, but in the end missed the last train for the day. For tourists, the most convenient way is to use your foreign-issued MasterCard and Visa contactless bank cards. You don't have to worry where to buy the transportation card or the limit the card provide. But do take note that administrative fees apply for foreign-issued bank cards, and you can check out the details at Transit Link's Simply Go website. If you worry about the administrative fees, you can always buy the Singapore Tourist Pass SAP, a special EasyLink stored value card that allows you unlimited travel for one day, 10 Singapore dollars, for two days, 16 Singapore dollars, or for three days, 20 Singapore dollars. The pass can be bought at the TransitLink ticket office at select MRT stations listed here, including at the Changi Airport Station, Terminal 2, near the TransitLink ticket office. Here is the MRT system maps and the indication of where the airport MRT is and the downtown city center MRT station, where most of the hotels are situated, including the famous MBS Marina Bay Sands. Bus The bus is your go-to transportation if you know which number to take. It is one of the cheapest too, apart from the MRT. But do consider the route, the time and the hustle to carry the luggage up and down the bus. It might be the most inconvenient way to transport with your luggage. But once you had settled down in your accommodation, it will become your best mode of transportation to take around the city. To get around the city, it is best to use it with any map apps like Google Maps or Apple Maps. It will tell you exactly which bus number to take, where to embark and disembark, number of stops and the travel time. Similar with the MRT, tourists can use their foreign-issued MasterCard and Visa contactless bank cards, but just remember the administrative fees apply. Or you can also buy and use the Singapore Tourist Pass. Taxi Around the world, the taxi or cab is probably the transportation that provide the easiest and most comfortable ride to your destination. It is even more convenient if you want to go somewhere that is inaccessible by bus or MRT. Taxi or cabs in Singapore are metered, but surcharges may apply, depending on when, where, and which company's taxi you take. Taxis or cab do accept credit card payments, but you should check with the driver before boarding about your intention to pay by credit card as sometimes the machine may be faulty. Also, credit card payments are subject to administrative fee as well as GST. So it might be more cheaper to change a small amount of Singapore dollars at the airport first for your taxi fare. Private hire car. Passengers can also book private hire cars from Grab, Gojek, Tata Mobility, or Ride for a ride out of the airport. Make a booking through the respective transport provider's mobile applications, downloadable on Apple App Store and Google Play Store, and head to the arrival pickup points at terminals 1, 2, 3, or 4. Do note that they can't pick you at the taxi stand in the airport as they have a designated pickup point. So do check with the respective transport provider on the pickup location. Airport transfer. If you are traveling in a larger group or have many luggage with you, airport transfer with four to seven seater vehicle is your best option with fare from 55 Singapore dollars to 60 Singapore dollars per trip. If you have no problem to split the group into two, getting into two taxi or cab might be another option. If your destination is close to the downtown area's hotels where the city shuttle goes, this is probably a good deal for you. Because firstly, you don't have to worry been lost in the MRT systems, and secondly, it is definitely cheaper than taking a taxi or any private hire car when going downtown areas. But do note about their departure timing. If in doubt, please approach the 24-hour ground transport concierges GTC, at the arrival halls for more detail on the route and which downtown hotels that it will travel to. 
For tourists on the budget, the combination of MRT and bus is your best mode of transportation. As the MRT and bus can take you to almost any tourist spot in Singapore. Together with your contactless bank cards or the Singapore Tourist Pass, you can travel anywhere with ease. Just tap and go. If getting around with a maps or finding a destination is of a challenge for you, hopping in a taxi or a grab is probably an easier option. If there isn't any road restriction, it will probably drop you right in front or close to your destination. Singapore is a safe country with strict laws, so don't be concerned about drivers taking you to remote areas. In any case, if you faced any emergency issue in Singapore, you can call the local police at 999. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please click and subscribe and comment below.